remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Robert Jeffries, an evangelical pastor and lawyer Trump supporter, appeared on Fox and Friends over the weekend and earned himself a tweet from his master, the commander in thief, Donald Trump, your president. Just what did the imbecile say to get the clown to quote him? Here are his words. If the Democrats are successful in removing the president from office, which they will never be, it will cause a civil war-like fracture in this nation from which our country will never heal. Trump's tweet came amid House Democrats' investigation of allegations that he tried to coerce the president of Ukraine to investigate a U.S. political rival, Joe Biden. That is against the law. That is against the Constitution. That is treason. That is reason for Donald Trump to be impeached, thrown out of office on his raggedy toupee head. Now, everybody knows that Trump is an imbecile with a below average IQ. Everybody knows that he is a trash of a human being. This dude is very dangerous for the country. And he's very dangerous for individuals who may be impressionable, who may think that if not for other people taking up space, maybe their life could be just a little better. See, you always got to have, you got people that are always looking for the fall guy. There are some people out there who just can't handle responsibility, but they're always telling you about responsibility, how you need to be responsible. It's them, 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 them. It's never themselves. There's no group in this country that is more dangerous to the safety of this country than Trump and his minions. Have you noticed how they always talk about hurting other Americans? Is that what they mean by pay, being patriotic? It's amazing how it's we're together. It's America. It's about America and Americans until you don't agree with them. And then it's off with your head. Put your head on a pike in the middle of the town square and shoot it until it totally disappeared. Till it's totally unrecognized. Absolutely amazing. The corruption of the Trump administration just in the three and a half years or so that he's been in office. Oh, man. <clears throat> it's amazing. Has he been in office? Already? No, no, he's only been in office for almost three years. Oh, it seems like an eternity, man. It's a nightmare. From 2016, it's been a nightmare. All the way to 2020 will be a nightmare. Trump, he loves to send out these uh, threats. He always making threats. Now keep in mind, y'all, he ran as the law and order president. He's going to drain the swamp. He's going to get rid of all the bad guys. And he's going to you know, get rid of these politicians. He's not a politician. He's a businessman. It just absolutely amazes me how so many people thought that, that voted for him, said that they voted for him because of his business acumen. Although he's had like six bankruptcies, he's left hundreds, if not thousands of business partners in the ruins because he gets the bag and takes off and leave everybody else holding empty bags. Or like, you know, kind of what happens when when you're uh, approached by somebody in the, in the mall parking lot 
or at a Walmart or something in the parking lot somewhere, and some dude has a a box that looks like a TV. It's got a picture of a TV on the outside and it's heavy and stuff. And he's like, hey, man, I'm trying to get rid of this 55-inch for $75, man. You want, you want to buy it? You're like, oh, man, that sounds good. Oh, man, yeah, man, I got Well, hold on, man, let me go get it. <laughs> Getting money out the bank and everything. Buy the TV, open up the box, and inside is nothing but rocks. That's Donald Trump. He sold y'all. Well, I ain't gonna say y'all, but yeah, y'all the, the other ones, not not my subscribers and people that 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 send the note. The others, the ones you want that's running around here snooping around on my channel, doing like this, watching my channel like this. Y'all, he sold you a dream that turned out to be a nightmare. How's it working out for you? I mean, other than the fact that you got somebody that look like you, that talk like you, that says the things you want to hear. How is your life? Is life any better? I'm willing to bet it's not. But what say you? No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>